We have yet another NHL trade to announce, this time between the Edmonton Oilers and the Arizona Coyotes. We'll get into the details coming up next. So welcome back to another video here at Top Shelf Hockey. As we can see, we have another trade to discuss from the 2022 first round of the NHL draft here. Of course, like I said before, uh, it's just easier to hop onto the computer and do these quick videos as these trades come through as I'm working on other draft-related videos at the same time. Uh, but we have a trade between the Oilers and the Coyotes. So the Oilers have traded Zach Cassian, sort of basically you could say in a form of a cap dump here, along with their first-round pick, the number 29th pick, uh, to the Arizona Coyotes, along with two other draft choices. There's a second-round pick in 2025 and a third-round pick in 2024 also attached to this trade in exchange for Arizona's final first-round pick of the night, which is pick 32. So they essentially dumped Cassie into the Coyotes. They moved their first-rounder back just a few spots from 29 to 32, and then they throw in a third and fourth-rounder for a couple years down the road. So it frees up some additional cap space. Um, dumping the Cassian contract to the Coyotes uh, allows them some more flexibility that they need to round out their roster. They need to find some goaltending and others. So overall, this is a pretty good deal for the uh, the Coyotes. They get an extra couple of picks out of this for taking on remaining contract here for Zach Cassian. And it gives the Edmonton Oilers some more additional salary cap flexibility. We had talked about Zach Cassian as being a potential buyout candidate or a potential trade candidate like this to a team like Arizona, Chicago, etc., who would want a sweetener added in exchange for taking on the remaining term of that contract. So overall, um, pretty good deal. I'm going to get some cap space here, and uh, the Coyotes get another warm body to put on the ice as they go through their probably next couple of years of tanking as they uh, prepare for the new arena. I don't think they're going to be too focused on winning based on what the kind of product they're likely going to be able to put on the ice so let me know your thoughts on this trade here for the Edmonton Oilers and we'll discuss further down in the comments of course again if you're new make sure you subscribe and stick around we'll keep you up to date with everything related to the 2022 draft free agency all your off-season topics here everything's covered here at top shelf hockey we'll be back to recording in the studio here for the rest of the videos likely coming tomorrow and moving forward thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time